the family of the six-year-old black boy who was allegedly confined in a small room at John Fisher Jr. Public School in Toronto is preparing a $5 million lawsuit against the school board and the staff involved in the incident. The lawsuit is being handled by Diamond & Diamond, a law firm that specializes in personal injury cases. The boy's parents claim that their son was subjected to a shocking and traumatic punishment by the school staff, who locked him in an isolated room in the main office for a whole day. They say that this was an act of anti-black racism and discrimination, and that it violated their son's human rights and dignity. The incident came to light in March, when a parent advocacy group called Parents of Black Children, Pabisi, filed a complaint with the Toronto Police Service and the Children's Aid Society. Pabisi said that they had received dozens of reports of racist acts toward black students and families at John Fisher JPS, and that the case of the six-year-old boy was one of the most egregious examples. The Toronto Police Service launched an investigation into the allegations of forcible confinement, but concluded on May 11 that there was no evidence to support any criminal charges. The police also said that there was nothing to indicate that the staff's actions were based on race. However, Pabisi expressed their profound disappointment with the police investigation, saying that it was inadequate and did not use an anti-black racism lens. They said that anti-black racism is a form of violence that can be nuanced and hard to detect by those who do not experience it or understand it. They also said that the justice system has failed to address the inhumane treatment of the boy and his family. The police investigation was not the only one that was triggered by the complaint. The Toronto District School Board TDSB, also started its own investigation into multiple allegations raised against staff at John Fisher JPS. The principal, the vice principal, and a teacher were placed on home assignment pending the outcome of the probe. However, the TDSB investigation was paused because the Children's Aid Society CAS, is also looking into the matter. The CAS is a child welfare agency that protects children from abuse and neglect. The TDSB said that it has to notify the CAS whenever there are serious allegations involving students, and that it has to wait for the CAS to finish its work before resuming its own investigation. The TDSB also said that it recognizes that this has been a difficult time for everyone involved, especially those who deserve a prompt resolution. It said that it is committed to ensuring a safe and inclusive learning environment for all students, and that it does not tolerate any form of racism or discrimination. The family of the six-year-old boy is not satisfied with these investigations and is seeking justice through legal action. Their lawyer, Daryl Singer, said that they are in the process of preparing a potential $5 million lawsuit against the school board and the teachers and administrators involved in the alleged incident. He said that no child should have to endure this sort of punishment, and that his clients have been traumatized by what happened to their son. The lawsuit has not been filed yet, but Singer said that he expects it to be ready soon. He said that he hopes that the lawsuit will send a message to the school board and the staff that they cannot treat black students differently than other students, and that they have to respect their rights and dignity.